All right, so I thought that um, you might like um, having a look at this. Um, it's just basically how I actually source my leads. So um, I'll actually show you here now, not to like, get these company names um, revealed out to you. In fact, I, I better um, click off this. But I just thought it would be interesting to show you how I actually do it. So first of all, we have the country. Um, it's pretty small in comparison to other countries, but you know, it's, it's big to me, so pretty big anyway. And we have about 32 counties in this behemoth, so um, let me look this up here. So I just look up the map of Ireland and I do um, apologize for my reflection in the, in the screen, but what I do is I look up. Um, this is like the first thing I would do. Um, so I'd start off with where I live now, and I'm not going to reveal to you where I do because um, you stalkers might actually um, try to track me down. But I would go, go around the neighboring counties. So say I live in Leash, I would go to, no, I'm not saying I do, but um, I would um, first of all go into Leash, and then I would go into the, probably the biggest county bordering on it, which um, looks to be Kilkenny in terms of. Um, land area alone so um, then I go and find all the leads in Kilkenny now what I would do um, to find those leads at this particular point in time would be um, let's say um, looking up all of these um, just looking up HVAC um, which is my niche and then the county beside it now this is Dublin which is um, the final county I'm doing and it also happens to be um, uh, the capital cap has the capital city of Ireland and a little geography lesson for you there um, and it, it may look tiny, but it has by far the biggest population of any of these counties. It has like half the country in it. You'd be surprised. Um, so yeah, that that's um pretty much how I do it now. But when I would when I would do web development, um, here's what I do. I would let's say go into D Seven Lead Finder. Um, I will just look it up here. And. I will let's say now this will be web development so this isn't my niche now but I will look up so I'll type in I will look up stores and it always says perfume furniture vape blah blah blah, blah. it doesn't really matter and then I'll look up let's say I'm doing um let's say I'm doing leash um yeah let's say I'm just doing leash so I would look up then top five Five biggest towns in Leash, and I would go from the top one down, um, just to get as many leads as quickly, quickly as possible. I absolutely butchered the typing of that. Here, let me, let me do it. It's not easy typing when you're on a phone as well. And what I would do then is go into here, and I would have a look in this census site, and scroll through some of these things so basically i would look at each one so let's say carlo this looks to be the biggest town on leash um and then um port leash is the second biggest um port arlington seems to be the third biggest so i look up those three towns and then i would keep going down the list actually and i keep typing them into uh, d7 so i'd probably put carlo here and i would then um type it down I'm not going to source the leads now because I've already done this and plus I don't actually do this um I don't do this kind of niche or service anymore but when you scroll down here you can actually see the people who are doing all of the um the different niches and to be honest some of these um are looking vague enough to me I mean digital marketer is that one no what you're supposed you're supposed to be if you're on this software <laughs> and cafes as well like what's a cafe going to give you a social uh, nothing, uh, nothing really. So yeah, that's basically it now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this a normal video because that's what I'm going to do. So I will just um, have a little tour of my room here. I don't have to do this. It's my room. So here we have the thing I actually used to hold this thing with. Little set of stuff there. 
amazing um, like a rather depressing setup but um, I, I like it simple it's just when you have too much clutter in your life that you become a cluttered person now allow me to put this on to you now I can't see myself here um, but it should still work anyway I hope it works and I hope you're seeing me properly okay so now I can talk for a bit um what I was doing I'm gonna go over now for the rest of this video what I was actually doing today because um if you clicked onto this video to see the leads um well you've you've had that now you've had that experience and you're not going to have to um keep watching me doing that you can click off if you like but if you want to keep hearing what I did today um I was supposed to have my first sales call and I was actually quite excited for it just waiting and waiting um, to convert this lead um, all week um, s try my best shot at how good my sales skills are because I don't really know where I am yet um, I imagine I'm not terrible um, I'm like better than a, a beginner would be um, because most beginners hide behind emails but I have not done that for these last few months I have actually went out like a fan and cold called hundreds of places and that's just the way it's supposed to be um, you're you're supposed to get weathered in this experience and it's not glorious it's it's really you cannot glorify it whatsoever I don't think you can't glorify any of the grind it's it's just that you know it's just pure pain it's pure pain it's pure misery for a while even as I say it I start feeling so good about myself but I read from the Bible that he who exalts himself will be humbled and he who, who humbles himself will be exalted it's so fitting because the moment you start having these um, the, these kind of daydreams about how great you are and the trajectory you're on and like, you can feel proud of yourself but if you keep um, just daydreaming about how amazing you are and how you already have it all conquered and you've conquered business sorry I keep adjusting this but it's just bothering me you you conquer business you've conquered the world and then the the next morning you're just really dreading it because you were like oh come on I was acting like this complete and utter um, sad fellow like talking again and again uh, about how great I was and now I'm here actually kind of hesitant to make a call you know it just doesn't work out like pretty well for that long at all um, because you're not living in reality then you're living in a fantasy um, about you've like extrapolated your decent performance from before a decent performance for how good you are at the moment I might add and you're um, you're taking that to mean that you are good in general and you're probably not you're probably just basic and, um, and that's kind of how I what I've been worried about all week um, I've just been worried about you know I can feel great and all about how many sales meetings I've done but I didn't even give myself the um, the the dope and the energetic benefits of it like I didn't give myself any sort of um what would you call it gratification um about having gotten those meetings in fact it's as if as it's as though they weren't even a real thing to me because I I just accepted in my mind yeah okay I've got some meetings I'm gonna get some more now I have the rest of the day to cold call um gonna keep going um but the thing is um, I wasn't actually realizing that this is actually a good thing I'm doing it's getting more meetings I was supposed to have my sales call today um, sorry I just drifted away from that completely I went on a tangent a sales call basically went and no one showed up um, then I called him when he when like five minutes elapsed from the meeting beginning and he said sorry um, we got this major um, disaster in the room here and there's about 10 grand of food at risk and uh, we need to get all the refrigeration systems back up to scratch and so um when he said that i was just thinking yeah okay that's a fair excuse but then he kept talking and he said um now i think it's good and all me um coming on to a call with you for a consultation but you know i'm not actually in a position to make a decision right now because i'm not the head man you're going to want these two for um to be the headmen um, and if you actually want to convert us you'd want to um, speak directly to them um, like I told you on the first day and I was just thinking I never heard you say that on the first day maybe I misheard you but um, it's not what I expected anyway um, 
he gave me their emails anyway and I, I reached out to them but it was disappointing you know because it was supposed to be a sales meeting and I thought I was um, at least gonna have a fair shot at converting but then he didn't actually show up and you know that just happens sometimes it, um, there's usually a clear cause when you keep reminding someone and they end up not showing up in the end it's not because of no reason like there there is an actual effect to this um, I mean there's a cause to this and that cause will have an effect silver lining though um, I pretty much profited two meetings today because I um, the moment I got off that call and by the way it was some guy from growth solutions with me the whole time and he basically um, he kind of just I wouldn't say consoled but he kind of just reassured me that you know this happens with our students a lot of the time and um, you yeah, don't don't be discouraged or anything um, you just keep doing what you're doing and reaching out and booking meetings and um, doing meetings as well and you will get somewhere so that's what I've been doing um, I started the moment we kind of finished that um, conversation um, after that meeting I went um, for about six hours cold calling straight and I did not take a break except for when like I had to email people but um, it wasn't a real break because it was only a couple of minutes but anyway I'm pretty sure I clocked in um, 85 official calls um, which would be like over 100 cold calls so that was great honestly um, and then I went and sent about 200 emails uh, which was also good because I most of them many were just um, follow-ups because they didn't reply the first day you will be astonished at how few people replied your emails now I hope I'm not landing up in spam I, doubt, I don't think I am because who checks spam anyway and there have been people who have told me that they got my email in fact there were some people calling me today and said they said they got my email but they weren't interested anyway You know, it's a lot easier talking to this camera when I don't actually see myself. Uh, I just much prefer it. I don't really like when I kind of see myself and usually if it's from a bad angle, I look like I've, I have a double chin or something and um, I just don't like it. It just doesn't feel um, that great, but oh well. Is there anything else to talk about? People outside listening to me now. I'm still looking forward to next week. I'm not looking forward to working in the hotel, but I'm looking forward to next week anyway, just to do the meetings. It's like it's kind of like a really hyped up video game, <laughs> but the thing, the experience you're getting is actual experience, and it's going to help you forever. Anyway. Hope you have a good day. I'm gonna hope this recording hasn't went on too long.